Hey, 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 guys, this is Hot Guy, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic for the Halloween event 2022. This is an all new event that has been taking place this year, completely different from the previous events with all new missions. Now, as far as whether or not we still have other species of fish that are f messing around somewhere in the waterways, I couldn't tell you just yet. We're still kind of learning this as we go. Now, in the last mission, I was told by a set of druid stones after I collected a number of materials that I need to get a witch's broom. And to do that, I have to go to Lesni Vila, which is in Czechoslovakia. And here's what it says. I think I did read it last time, but we'll go ahead and read it again one more time. Let's see, tradition says it should be a witch's broom. A ghostly cat has been seen on the shores of Lesni Vila fishery, and where the cat is, there is a witch. Catch the Prussian carp ghosts in the places near where the cat sits and feed it. When the cat is full, it will indicate the place where you can find the witch's broom. Catch ghost fish at night. So we need to go there at night. And it's already tracked, so we just need to head on over there. As far as what we need, we need, looks like, ghost worms, which I don't have with me. We need to catch the Prussian carp, find the witch's broom, and feed the cat. So I think all we need to really have with us is some ghost worms. So I managed to get plenty of those when I got my DLC. Let's see where are they? Here they are. Put that in the backpack. I don't think we need anything else at the moment. I guess you could use ground baits, but I don't think I really don't know how to use them honestly, or this rod pod. But I am going to do something with my float rod. This is a bit on the big side <laughs> for what we're going after. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and equip with a smaller one. One that will do the job, but isn't so darn huge. Let's see here. We do have a carp rod here also so we can use that as well we also have another set of bottom rods we might actually be alright with what we have but I, w I will tell you this I think I'm going to put a instead of a feeder in there I'm going to put a sinker we'll put this heavy sinker there that'll complete that one and on this one I think I might do the same thing, but I'm going to use, an, a, yet again, another carp sinker. See how that fixed that? And then we're going to, oh yeah, I also, in my DLC, got a special rod pod, which I am going to go ahead and equip that. Okay, I should have it down here, here it is, two-horned rod stand. So that's perfect because I only have two bottom rods in the first place. There's something called the Iron Maiden Fish Stringer. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and equip that because I don't know if I have to have it later on. It might not be a bad idea to have it. I don't think they gave me any other boats. No, the boat I have is fine. I don't know if I'm going to need that. I think everything else equipment-wise is pretty pretty good shape I think so I've got that equipped even but I'm not gonna probably use it this time probably going to use the go ahead and equip this with the ghost worms as soon as I find the dog buggers ooh dead eyes chopped fingers nice sentry eggs Mistletoe berries, phalanges, <laughs> wood lice. Ooh, nasty, nasty stuff here, guys. <laughs> okay, here's the ghost worms. It won't let me put that on there. Okay, I can put it on there. So I cannot put it on this one because it's a carp rod. You only can use certain baits for that. So. Can I use the carp rod? I can use this rod so I can put that on there. I am going to put the Hell's Bells on there because the Hell's Bells is pretty cool. 
Yeah, the Hell's Bells is a a uh, bell ringer thingy that it comes with it, and you get two of them. And it has a real funky sound, real spooky. And like I said, I am going to downgrade this a little bit. This is way too big, way, way too big. Let's see, what do we got float rod-wise that we can replace this with? We've got... Well, let me go ahead and get this set up, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I am back. I think I've got things set up the way I want them at this point. I haven't put this together yet because we're not going to be using the carp rod at this point. But I do have the humerus set up with the uh, ghost worms, and I'm using a carp camouflage sinker. I'm not going with any kind of ground bait because, like I said, I'm not familiar with it. I hope that along the way, if it tells me what to do, it will do so. I've also got this one, the heavy chaser, set up for them as well. In both cases, I'm using two, uh, I think it's two odd, no, number two hooks. Should be good for that. If not, I'll go a little bigger. Now, I've got a two odd on this one, and it's an octopus. Also got the uh, ghost worms for that, because that is what we're supposed to be going going after. I knocked it down to the uh, fire phoenix, which is from a previous Halloween event, as you can see. It only goes up to 22 pounds, so it should be enough for what we need here. I went ahead and kept that just for now, and I brought my feather light for in case I feel like doing some light fishing. Might be able to do some uh, ultralight fishing somewhere, so we'll see. We can change things as we go. We're going to learn as we go, so we're going to Les Nivela now. And see what we need to do. Well, the first of it is just going there to complete the first part of the mission. Alright, I do have that miss mission tracking, right? Okay, it's tracking. Wasn't sure there for a minute. I didn't see it popped up to the side. I guess, I don't know where we need to come in at, but I'm going to go ahead and head for this location. Looks like there's a building nearby, so maybe the cat will be over there. So we got to catch ghost carp and feed a cat. But we have to go at night. So we're going to have oh, to... God, I wish you quit doing that. We'll go ahead and get our stuff. Get some ghost moths. I don't know what's up with the bike. But... Looks like there's something over there. We'll go ahead and jump over there and see what's on the other side. Oh, there's the cat. Meow, catch me some fish. He's a ki he's a ghost kitty. Aw, he's a ghost kitty. <laughs> I like the ghost kitty. Yeah, I'm getting a picture of him. I wish I could get a better. There we go. That's a little bit better. Can't zoom in, can we? Yeah, we can. There we go. I really like these missions. <laughs> it's cool. Let me see if I can get him to look at me. Anyway, there's our kitty cat. So we need to f catch the fish right here, I assume. So let's go ahead and take it tonight. I don't know if we need to go during the peak time. I'm going to go to the peak time just in case. It's not going to hurt anything. I'll catch you some fish. i got to get 15 of them. Oh, crap. Catch Prussian carp ghosts up to 0.66 line following the ghost cat. What? I'm not sure what that means. 0.66... LN. Hold on, let me check the missions here. Up to 0.66 LN. Alright guys, I gotta check to see what that means. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't want to do this and just be wasting my time. Okay, I'm not sure what that means. I've looked, trying to look it up. I cannot find out what it means. But we're just going to go ahead 
and set up our rod pod here and we'll see what we can do. So we need to get them on ghost fish. I mean, is there 0.66? I don't know. We'll just go ahead and fish for them. We'll see what the heck happens. Uh, that is a awesome looking rod pot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the kitty agrees. We're just going to throw these out there and see what happens. Yep, there's the Hell's Bells going off. Yep, that's all we got to do. We got a Prussian ghost carp. <laughs> I'm working on it, dude. Seems to be actually going pretty well. Let's see if we can do it with float rod here. It has a really strange sounding bell. Hell's bells. It's pretty funny. I'm not sure which one it is that's going off. I think it's the second one. It is. There's the second fish. Yeah, they're not worth a lot. Not sure that it's working with the float rod. Yeah, it is. It is. I just got a bite. You have to watch the lines. I think it's the second one again. There we go. It's going to be one fat ghost fish. I mean, one fat ghost cat. I don't know who thought this up, but that was cute. Okay, looks like I got one for each one here. Oh! I got a bluegill skeleton, guys. Check him out. He is back. The bluegill skeleton is back. All right, we need to quit playing around and get this one, too. I think we got us another skeleton. <laughs> yeah, they don't count, I'm afraid. There's no meat on them, or ghostly meat. The only problem with that is, though, if we run out of ghost worms. We're running out of ghost worms. Wait a minute. Let's put that one here. Great. This one out. Alright. Now it's just a waiting process. We've got to get 12 more, so there's a little bit of a grind here. Not too bad. The only thing I kind of wish is that you could get the meow. Please catch me some fish off the front of the screen. <laughs> I get the idea. 
Yeah, I might want to go with a smaller hook for this, honestly. I don't have another glow in the dark. I think the two aught is going to be better anyway. I mean, a two. The number two. This time I'm using a oval, oval float instead of a great big old monster float like I'd use for catfish. Well, this is going to take a little while, guys. I'm probably going to be bringing you back, and once we get a little bit closer to having all the fish we need, I'll bring you back. All right, guys. I wanted to tell you quickly here found out I had to leave for just a second while I was catching the fish I came back and the cat was no longer there I managed to catch another ghost Prussian carp and then it didn't count so apparently you have to be where the cat is in order for it to count so that must be what the LN or line or whatever means now I gotta figure out where the cat is but before I do that I am gonna grab whatever's here and I gotta find the cat again because it seems like every time I move he moves too I think he's over there but I'm not sure yeah I think he's over there in that side of things I'm gonna have to walk over there because you can't jump between points on the map because if you do he'll jump again too Yep, our little kitty cat's over here. And now we have to fish from here until he leaves. I don't know if he just leaves when you leave or if he leaves just at certain points. Because it seemed like it was about 3 a.m. when he was no longer there. Yep, there he is. And he will stay the same thing. Please catch me, catch me some fish. So I guess you just have to be next to him when you do this so the only thing that worries me is I am going to run out of worms <laughs> okay he's still there so we're still good yeah another thing you have to worry about is like you saw earlier you will catch other species of fish I've so far caught the bluegill skeleton and I've caught a roach and I caught a silver bream and they only give you so many of the darn things so with catching 15 of them I'm going to be pushing it alright we're more than halfway there now cat's still there so they seem to be coming pretty regularly so it shouldn't be that much of an issue okay that's that's good we're doing fine I just know now that if the cat disappears we need to disappear oh the cat disappeared damn it you stupid kitty cat, he's over there now. Okay, hold on. We have to move. <laughs> See, now I understand what the following the ghost cat means. <laughs> he didn't go too far. Eh, it keeps you on your toes. He's back on. Oh, he's on. This is not the original dock he was on. So. Why am I not getting my. 
Did I leave it back there? God bless it. I sure did, didn't I? Note to self, do not forget Rod Pod. <laughs> Hopefully this cat will stay put. Catch you some fish, but you gotta stay put. <laughs> okay, he's still there. Oh wow. I don't think that. That seems a little bit. I don't know. That's 10 out of the 15. A little shallow here, but we've got it. Ah, we got a mirror carp instead. See what I mean? You can get other things. Now let's just hope this is ghost carp. It is. He's still there. I think I need to... There we go. Number one. Three more, and he's gone again. Dang on it. <sighs> Cat's getting to be a pain in the butt here, guys. Where'd he go? Okay, he's now down here. Just got three more to get. We will have all the fish the damn cat wants. And then we can get that darn witch's broom, wherever that is. I think this is where we started off. Yeah, it is. I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's put our rod pod back again. Maybe he'll stay a little longer this time since... What is going on with this? What am I hooked on? Let me throw this in order here. Got four worms left. I gotta catch three. I gotta catch three of those darn things. Two more. You need to stay where you, you need to stay put. Quit wandering around. Boy, that is really shallow there. Let's 
take this. Oh, looks like we got two of them here. Here's one of them. And you can get them with the flow rod, and that is it. Go to the gazebo. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Feline. Let me go ahead and grab this, because I'm about out of ghost worms. Yeah, I got it, okay. Well, I don't have to go far. There's another cat. That's a, I was going to say, is, is it him? No, it's a different cat. Take the witch's broom. Visit the Druid Stone at Lone Star Lake. Witch's broom. It's placed in your backpack. Alright. And both the cats are now gone. So we are headed back to the main map. And we gotta go all the way back to Lone Star Lake. <laughs> all right. This is gonna get us a little bit closer. put that away. And there's going to be a witch's cackle as we come through here. See, that time it didn't scare me. <laughs> Alright, there's the druid stones one more time. So we got to bring it the witch's broom. Well done. The next item is ancient pent... Ancient Fish Pendant. Get the mission. Got some candy as a reward. So, Ancient Fish Pendant. Pay attention to the will-o'-the-wisps that appeared on the Naharan River. They may indicate the presence of the second seal, the Ancient Fish Pendant. Better catch phantom fish at night. Better to catch phantom fish at night. So, yet again, another go. Looks like we'll get some dead mice or something to fish with. So the next mission we gotta travel to Naharan River. So let's see. Make sure the mission's tracking. And this is what we gotta do on this one. We need to catch smallmouth bath bass phantoms with rainbow slug. Hmm. We need to catch largemouth bass phantoms with burying beetle larva. Fish out the ancient fish pendant from the cluster of Will of the Wisps and visit the druid stone. So that means we're going to need to go into our inventory and get specific these are baits or lures, I'm not sure here. Uh, let's see, this is in the backpack so we're going to have to go back to the main main map here. Leave. Alright, this will be probably under home since I haven't actually used them yet. So, I don't know for certain that they're live or they're lures. So, uh, we'll check and see. Should have everything I need. Trout skeleton. Fire salamander. Infernal crabs. There's the Christmas stuff. 
caddis larva, bark beetle, pulley grasshopper, dried locust, firefly larva. Okay, so these are, here's the burying beetle larva, and I'm going to assume, well, rainbow slug. So they're, they're the um, soft baits. So the rainbow slug and the soft bait, and I'm not sure if we're going to need any specific size hook. It doesn't look like it. Smallmouth bass phantoms. I would probably go with at least a two to three aught with both of those. So small mouth and large mouth. Okay, seems pretty straightforward. Anyway, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And we will be back at Naharan River in the next episode to get those bass phantoms and hopefully move on to the next step in this thing. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.